Tim Russert, NBC's Washington bureau chief, broke the news about a very tense meeting on Tuesday between the president and a group of congressional Republicans. Tim, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. This meeting was described as frank and blunt, unvarnished. One participant said that his district back home told the president was prepared for defeat. Another participant apparently said to the president, look, any news of progress coming out of Iraq can no longer be delivered. These are your words, delivered by you or anyone else at the White House. It's got to come from someone like General Petro because there's a lack of credibility. This is a sharp stick in the eye for the president. It sure was, Matt. 2.30 on Tuesday, 11 Republican congressmen brought up to the solarium, a private room in the private quarters, met with the president, the secretary of defense, the secretary of state, the White House chief of staff, chief political advisor Carl Rove, White House press secretary, press secretary Tony Snow, and they put it on the line. One congressman who's met with three different American presidents said he has never spoken so candidly to a president. They said, Mr. President, this war is a problem for us in our districts. People are talking talking about it. Case, they want us to figure out exactly how long we're going to be there, what is going to happen. You need to come clean with us, be blunt with us, be candid with us. What are your plans? And, and Tim, did anyone at the meeting uh, tell you, um, you know, off the record, how the president reacted to such an unvarnished discussion? Yes, they said that he is always an optimistic, upbeat man, but he left this meeting pretty somber. But he did not get defensive the way he had in some previous encounters, that he listened and was receptive to hearing these members out. Because, Matt, these are GOP moderates. They're members of a group called the Tuesday Group. They are swing voters. If they go the other way, if they turn against the president on Iraq and join with the Democrats, the president understands he's in real political trouble. As we've reported on this show, Tim, the president's approval ratings have hit an all-time low. According to the latest NBC News Wall Street Journal poll, 28 percent. The timing, perhaps, play into this? In other words, these congressional Republicans look at his approval rating and say, perhaps now the president's ears will be wide open? Yes. Tom Davis, Republican from Northern Virginia, told the president that in parts of his district, his approval rating is 5 percent. They realize that they all have to run for re-election in 2008. The president does not have to. They said you need to address this, and it must be done by September. And as you said, we don't want to hear from you, Mr. President, or the people in this room. We want to hear from General Petraeus. He's the only one who has any credibility on the war in Iraq. And